What's up guys, Jared back once again. I got another really useful application for you guys called Relaunch. It's free in the Play Store. I'll be posting a link in the description below. It's gotten some wicked, wicked feedback in the Play Store. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't had an update since June, so I'm not really sure if the developer has abandoned development. It may be because this is the final version, it just works flawlessly because I haven't had any problems with it uh, so far. So once you download the application, um, it'll give you this, sort of this walkthrough, this configuration. This is the screen you'll be brought to, just so you can kind of learn and understand how to use it. And of course, we've got some different preferences, which, which we'll jump into it just into uh, just a moment here. But I'm going to show you what we can do. So what's going to happen is once you have it installed and you kind of set up all your configurations and things like that, uh, there's these hot spots on the on the uh, uh, sides of your display here. Now, using your thumb or finger, whatever you want to use, uh, your feet if you prefer, um, you're going to go ahead and just to the very edge of the display here. You're gonna tap on it, okay? Whoops, that was a failed attempt. You're gonna tap on it, that was a failed attempt too. Where did I have it set? There it is, okay? So I have my hotspot actually set differently and I'll show you why in just a moment. But as you can see, it actually categorizes all your applications for quick access and it actually uses the Play Store's categorization algorithm, I guess you could say, um, to automatically categorize the applications for you. Now you can manually categorize them uh, for however you want. Um, I mean, you can have the you know phone symbol down in the work and whatever. But you got all these different categories to choose from to set up uh, all your different applications. If your application isn't found in the Play Store, maybe it's like a um, something that comes with your phone, you know, some bloatware, if you will. It'll be found in the lost. There isn't really any categorization for that, but I guess that's uh, considered a categorize category. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, now you may not like the particular color that this is coming with. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you do want to launch whatever application you're looking at just go ahead and slide over and it'll not only give you the description of the application but you just go ahead let go of it and it'll launch it right into that application nice and convenient so we've also got a status bar icon now you can actually disable that so don't worry it's not going to be up there forever you can get rid of that if you like to um, but in here is all the preferences so you can choose a bunch of different things in here I'm not going to go to going to go through all of them but as you can see we can manually categorize and so on and so forth it also has hepatic feedback so when you are um, in this menu here, uh, every time you move to a category, it kind of vibrates a little bit. So you can enable or disable that if you like and do a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, but Calibrate is where we start getting into something interesting here because let's say for instance you're typing on your keyboard You obviously don't want the hotspot to be over your keyboard, you know Whether it be the left or the right hand side, okay, so you can either disable or enable left or right or both Okay, and so let's say for instance, oops I'm gonna want to disable the left right so now as you can see the hotspot there was before it's not actually activating it anymore So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that um, but again, you know if you have it set as default Which is uh, this size right here and you go to bring up your keyboard and you start typing O or P you know, you're gonna bring up that and you're gonna start getting pissed off. So come in here to calibrate Bring it up a little bit there just kind of memorize and it'll take maybe like a few times just to kind of memorize where exactly that hot spot is just leave it there you can also change the colors around so maybe you prefer a little bit of a brighter color that's cool too. go ahead and hit the home button and I think again we're just gonna have to learn where that hot spot was again whoopsie daisy uh, there it is and we as you can see the color has now been changed and so on. Um, also, once you start downloading applications, it'll automatically categorize them for you, but if you do feel the need to push a refresh of the automatic categorizations, you can do so throughout the settings of the application itself. But I thought this is a really great way to have quick access to all of your applications, as well as save home screen real estate. Um, you know, I generally only use one home screen and then I just fill all of my um, folders up with applications and so on. Um, I can actually probably start removing those and just use this from now on, which I think is pretty cool. And it's very unobtrusive, so you uh, you know you won't find yourself um, accidentally hitting it all the time. One thing I did want to point out though is that on the Galaxy Note 2 that I was testing this out on before I started the video that I was actually planning on doing the video with, um, I don't know if it's really a fault of the application itself, more so the design of the display of the Note 2. You really have to get on the edge of the display, whereas here it's just it's, it's pretty simple, um, but on the Note 2, it was very, very inconsistent to launch it. So, you know, if you have a Note 2 and you want to download this application, do it at your own risk in terms of frustration. Uh, but on the Galaxy S3 here, it works absolutely flawlessly, and I think it's a great application, I think, for everybody, especially considering the price is free. Anyways, like I mentioned before, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go download it nice and quick. And that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the app in the uh, comments below. I, I think it's really cool. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, if you like 
like this video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below and uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. We do have videos five days a week, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.